What's going on guys, it's Harry or the Fire Gamer here and welcome back to another video. Well today I'm doing another top 10 and this is top 10 superheroes who deserve to be on TV. This is taking a look at some of those underused characters who have not been on TV. They may have been on TV but this would have to be on a live action role, not animation. And, they, and if they were on live action they had to have played a big role. So these are some of the superheroes that deserve to be on TV, majorly. This is taken from DC and Marvel. So, let's get into this. And this does include super villain. I think one or two villains. I'm not sure. Number 10, Blue Beetle. I'll be honest with you. I've always wanted to know more about Blue Beetle. Because I've always been more into Marvel. But I love DC as well. And Blue Beetle's always been very interesting in my eyes. And you don't see him that often. Like, at all. Yeah, really. Don't see him at all. Number 9, Martian Manhunter. I'm surprised he isn't in the Justice League movie. Martian Manhunter is such an awesome character. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised when they announced like who they were going to use. I was like, what? Where's Martian Manhunter? Yeah. Number 8, Namor the Submariner. I'll be honest with you. All I know about Namor is that he's the king of Atlantis and he became before Aquaman. Haha. -ha. But Namor, people have been bar arguing for ages about how Namor should have a movie and that he's a really good character. So I thought I'd put him on this list, especially since I haven't seen him in anything and he's meant to be really popular. Number seven, Azrael. Some of you may not know Azrael. He's, I think he's recently been in the... Gotham show, but I'm talking about the Gene or John Paul Valley, how, how it's pronounced. It's pronounced a Gene, but I heard it called John Paul, so not sure. And I'm talking about maybe he could be the Nightfall Batman, the Darker Dark Knight, or he could just be himself, but I'd love to see him on TV. Haven't seen him much. Haven't seen him at all on TV. Number six, Batman Beyond. Two Batmans on this list. This one's better, though. <laughs> They've done so many Batman stories, but they've only done about Bruce Wayne. I'd love to see one about Terry McGuinness as Batman Beyond, because he was my probably my favourite Batman, and he was awesome. Number four, Nightwing. Okay, I know what you're saying. I'm being a bit biased to DC here. <laughs> DC doesn't have as many movies out as Marvel, and I, was, I like some of these DC heroes and haven't seen them in anything. But I'm kind of breaking the rules a bit for Nightwing. Because I, I really want to see him in a movie, but I heard just a couple of days ago that he was confirmed to being greenlighted for a movie, but nothing's being cast or anything yet, so I'm still putting him on the list. So we can comment over that if you want. Number three, Hawkeye. I know what you're thinking. He had a major role in the Avengers. No, he didn't. People say he had a major role. But they always use like Captain America or Thor or Iron Man to do the, the, the dirty stuff. All, the, all those superheroes had movies. Hawkeye and Black Widow still do not. And I think Hawkeye deserves one and so does Black Widow. But I forgot to put Black Widow on the list. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I've been a big fan of Hawkeye ever since I saw Avengers. And I think he should be in it. He should be in a movie. Number two, Doctor Fate. I love Doctor Fate. He's such an awesome superhero. And did you know, in the Flashpoint Paradox, Dick Grayson actually became Dr. Fate? Yeah, that's an interesting fact that I th thought I'd mention. <laughs> Number one, Moon Knight. I know I, I've used this picture in my last top ten, but I love that picture. And uh, big fans of Moon Knight will agree with me that Moon Knight definitely needs to be on something. Like... I'm all for a Netflix show or a TV series or a movie. I'd just like to see him in something. And director James Gunn said he'd love to make a Moon Knight movie. And James Gunn's the guy who made the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So you know it would be good. But he just didn't have that much time. How can you not have time for Moon Knight? And that's my list. So that was my list of 10 superhero top 10 superheroes who should be on TV. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tick that notification bell. And also, make sure to check out these guys. These 
the Donna Gamer slash Tanner Hagi, who's my good friend, and my brother, Jackaboy. He's really hard to find, so just check in the description. And... I'll see all you dudes later. Bye-bye.